Hey guys, okay, so some of you have been watching on the drop cam and you've seen that we are putting up the psych wall. So this is the process we're gonna show you. Really, we're gonna demonstrate with one section what happens with every section because it's all the same. What is a psych wall for those watching who First don't First of all, know. for those of you who don't know, a psych wall, also known as a cyclorama, also known as an infinity wall. It is a wall that has curved corners so that when we have it all painted and lit properly, uh, you will not be able to perceive depth against the screen. So you've seen these, for example, in the I'm a Mac, I'm a PC commercials. You've seen it in the Matrix when they, uh, when Neo was plugged in and learning about uh, weapons and they fly in all the racks full of stuff. He's in a big white room. This is how they do that. So we're building a gigantic psych wall here and this is how it works. So first of all, uh, this particular version that we bought um, you have walls, so we put up these big 25 foot by 12 foot tall walls. Hold on, I'm gonna go show them over here. Yeah, it's a big wall way down there. Hi. That's behind. So, wall. so we built the walls, and then what happens is we have these pieces that are made of foam. Actually, you can see from the edges here, it's uh, it's styrofoam but it has a kind of concrete uh, front that's applied to it. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna position them and we're using a really heavy duty industrial glue. It's this Gorilla Glue, uh, which is actually activated by water. So you're gonna see that we're going to use a bunch of water in this process. Now, first thing we do, we position them, which we've already positioned them all. The, the ones in the middle here have already been done, so you can kind of see a finished product. We, we well, put not the, finished. Well, not quite finished, but, but nearly finished. We put the Gorilla Glue all behind them, and then we actually used these furring strips, and we screwed right through it to hold this in place while the glue dries. And you might think, wow, why would you put screws through your really expensive materials? Because we're looking at like $10,000 worth of material here. Well, you don't care about the screws because once these pieces are all in place, it's gonna have to be filled in and taped and bedded like you would a drywall uh, to cover the seams. Okay, so those holes, when it's dry, we'll remove these strips, we'll fill in the holes, smooth over them, no big deal. All right, so here's how it works. We're gonna basically take one section, and this is actually the most difficult section in here because our floor is a little bit curved. But what we're going to do is this section will go right up here. So we're going to turn. And you've got helpers David Foster and Darren, hey guys. also known as in the chat room TXRX. So we are going to first use a bunch of water. Okay, so guys, light it up. So what we're doing, the guys are putting water on the wall up to the point where this piece is going, where this piece is gonna go against the wall. So that's what we're primarily worried about. They're getting the wall nice and wet because we want it to activate that glue. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get the mop ready because this is the fastest way to get plenty of water on the floor. All right, y'all probably have gone nuts with the water there. We did, the floors went too hard. Which is fun, yeah. So we're gonna take the mop, we're gonna spread this water around. We want it to be nice and even and nice and wet. That's about it. We're just, we're, we've already cleaned the floor, I should mention. The floor was, was clean, we went through, we scraped off any old gunk. Um, so, that's that. All right, next step, lots of glue. Yeah. All right, so Dave and I are gonna team up here, I guess. Okay. Uh, this one is gonna run out pretty quick. Jared, do we have another one? Uh, yeah. So right what, what we're gonna do is, First, oh, let me use that one to, to draw our line. Uh, we keep forgetting, what we should have done is we should have made a line on the wall so that we put our glue right up to that line, but we're gonna eyeball it. So now he's having eyeball to eyeball it, it over sure. here sure. and tell John when he's too high. That's right. And 
what's your rule? No skin, no shoes, no... Yes, do not let little this... Low. Little low? Yeah. Do not let this stuff touch anything you care about. Because it will ruin everything. S shoes, clothing. If you get it on your skin, you cannot wash it off. It will be on your skin until the skin falls off, literally. So you notice we're, we're wearing gloves. I should be wearing more secure stuff, but you know me, I always wear my flip-flops. Yeah, so I'm an John, idiot. you are not uh, okay. construction approved. Yeah, don't ever look, don't do as I do, okay? Gorilla toes. All right, so now Dave and I are gonna... Oh, Dave oh and wait, I gonna, we, have to get, we have to wet this. No, I'll do that. No, oh, that, okay. that's a last thing. So first we're gonna, we're gonna go back and forth and we're just putting lines like every, you know, every few inches where the stuff will, where the foam will touch the wall. Butt shots. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and I, I need a belt, so you might get a show. <laughs> I'll come over here. <laughs> I apologize for the uh, camera job. There's a lot of moving around on this. Oh, can you give me a little bit of water on the edge here? So notice we're also going to put glue on the edge of this piece so that when we put the two pieces together, we want that to seal up and, and foam up as well. So this glue actually costs about $18.50 per bottle. And we are using probably 12 bottles of it, I think, to do this. So there's, there's a lot of, lot of money in just the glue. All right, now we've got it all over the wall. I think it's a pretty good amount, when in doubt, Put uh, extra. So you didn't put it down below. Because there, because you notice there's a gap in the foam, so uh, it won't. It would be a waste to put it down there. There's not going to be any. Now we're going to put it all over the floor. So basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint myself into a corner here. We put a healthy amount. Probably every three inches or so is pretty good. Another thing about this glue is it expands. It it basically. Well, you can see it on that seam there, uh, where it's already drying, it's kind of poking out of the seam. And so that's one of the things that makes it so strong. It fills the voids. And by the way, these bottles are hard to squeeze. It, get, it, it's, it actually wears your hand out after a little bit, trying to squeeze this thick, thick glue. It's that month off from the gym. That's right. <laughs> if I wasn't such a wuss, it wouldn't be a problem. Now the floor right here, we just learned when we were positioning our materials, the, fl the floor is actually kind of curved, okay? Time for another bottle. The, the floor is, is kind of curved, so we're gonna have to really uh, put some weight on it in order to make it stay the way we want it to. All right, now I'm gonna put one little line here. We did draw a line where we knew the edge of the, where we knew the edge of it was gonna be. We drew, we drew a line there. So we're kind of putting, putting a line right along the edge. You can see it's foaming out on the edge here. And now the guys are gonna get that piece all wet for us to put it in place. All right, all good. Water activated. Here we go, boys. We're gonna flip it over and gently put it in place and shove it real hard up against this piece. Shove it against the wall best we can. Now, now we're gonna Screw in our furring strip. Just to make it quick, we already pre-drilled the screws. So we put it right up against the edge and screw right through our material into the wall. And these are drywall screws, so there's no need for anchors because they bite into that drywall right there and hold this in place while it dries. Now 
now. Remember we said that the floor here was curved. So we're putting a bunch of weight on it because we want it to hold, hold that bottom portion down so it goes right over the curvature in the ground there. So that's it really, that's the whole thing. So now we're gonna repeat that process for every one of these. And then tomorrow when it dries, we can come in, tape and bed and mud and all that stuff. So stay tuned, we'll show you the rest of it later. Bye guys.